it's that time of the year. Once again, E3 is upon us. Gamers the world round have their eyes and ears open to seeing the biggest names in gaming take center stage and show off the best wares that they possibly can from brand new IPs that they're gonna usher into this generation of gaming. Pre-existing franchises that have made the foundation of what gaming it is today and what kind of new iterations and installments that we're gonna see of them sometime down the road in the near future that we'll be playing the living hell out of. And I love this. Every single time, it's several days straight of nothing but gaming goodness and things to come. I'm just like, that is fucking awesome. As a matter of fact, today was one of those very days. We got to see the triumphant return of the Nintendo World Championships, something that we have not seen in decades. It's been such a long ass time. I talked about it. This was fucking cool as shit. Bethesda came out with guns blazing. Naturally, with that, we have the dumbest motherfuckers come out of the woodwork and decide to go and flap their dick suckers, but all oh, the things that got them so triggered. Goodness gracious, we don't want anybody offended. Somebody call the politically correct police. We need white knights. We need a defense committee. We need the dynamic duo of Macintosh and Sarkeesian at our beck and call to make sure that we don't see anything scary or awful out there, especially violent. That's the name of the game right now. Bethesda was dropping bombs left and right. Anybody out there in their right mind seeing this shit was just like... That right there looks amazing. We got a new Dishonored game, Doom 4. Got to see so much footage of Doom 4, god damn. I had an infernal hard on for that and then some 666 inches of piping hot goodness. Then, we got to see more gameplay of Fallout 4. It was great. It was a trifecta of awesomeness. But naturally, these two clusterfucked ass nuggets decided that they needed to go and have a problem with this stuff. And some of the shit that they were saying was not only not surprising and very fucking typical and cliche of these two motherfuckers. Oh, and I got to find out that Mr. McIntosh has me blocked on Twitter. Amazing, because I never talked to you before, so why would you have somebody like me blocked? <laughs> That's amazing, because Anita doesn't. Look who has the bigger balls. That's 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 kind of amazing. It's about the only time that she's gonna end up getting some kind of a thumbs up here from me. So let's go on into some of these little tweets. Anita Sarkeesian had said this level of extreme violence shouldn't be considered normal. It's not an excuse to say it's expected because doom. That's the problem. She goes on to say, it's really troubling and depressing that the E3 audience is enthusiastically cheering for bodies being ripped apart. She says, only a few minutes into the Bethesda press conference and it's wall-to-wall -wall glorification of grotesque violence. I can barely watch. Johnny Pooh had this to say, this shit is sick. There is something deeply, deeply, seriously wrong with anyone cheering for this Doom 4 trailer. Gamers cheering loudly at scenes of brutal dismemberment? God, this is depressing as hell. Welcome to the gaming industry. Then, he says this little gem right here. Literally every shot in that entire Bethesda sizzle reel featured extreme violence. Nothing else. This is modern game design. Modern game design. Modern game design. Anytime I think about these two clowns ever saying anything or even being brought up in a conversation, I kind of imagine them like this. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Let's keep in mind those R's don't stand for Rocket, by the way, and it's pretty fucking sad when Team Rocket seems more competent than those two. But moving on to more concerning matters, they are troubled by the, the showcasing of graphic violence within both series, being Doom 4 and Fallout 4. We're already very well aware that these games, for decades now, one of the two which was one of the founding fathers into pushing the boundaries of mature content within video games, has had these for the entirety of their existence, and they're acting as though this is something new. The thing that I find a little more funny about this is that so offended, so offended that you are so triggered by the displays of blood and gore and all this other crazy shit on screen during the trailers and the gameplay that was showcased during E3, I had wondered, wait a minute, didn't Anita Sarkeesian pose beside a gigantic pile of all of her video games showing that 
Yes, indeed, she is one of us. She is truly a gamer and did not, in fact, buy this in one big lump sum off of eBay or something like that. No, 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 no. But these are all, in fact, games that she not only owns and enjoys and plays, but obviously approves of. And then I was looking like, wait a minute, doesn't she have Fallout 3? And doesn't she also have Fallout New Vegas? That's strange. Wait a minute, wasn't I seeing some other stuff in there, kind of like Shadows of the Damned? Isn't there a part where you're running over a gigantic titty in that game and part of an ass cheek? I could have swore something like that happened in the game, but I, I could be kind of crazy. Wait a minute, what about Dead Space 1 and 2, especially Dead Space 2? I mean, that game was notorious for the amount of violence in it. But wait, there's more! She has Mortal Kombat 9! If that is not one of the most violent fucking games out there, I don't know what is. But it's amazing that hypocrisy was shown once again. Good fucking golly! Somebody go and call the presses! We suddenly are onto the same shit that we've seen time and time again. These motherfuckers cannot keep all their ducks in a row at all. You could not ever find them to say something fucking sensible at all. But again, you got the oceans of fucking mouth breathers who were just like, Oh my god, I'll believe anything that you say. Because thinking for myself and doing my own research seems really fucking tough. But you seem smart enough and I'm obviously really offended because you told me to be offended. <laughs> We have more works of fiction that are basically going to be put in the middle of some crosshairs because you don't like anything that's inside of it. And you were trying, you were reaching so fucking far, Plastic Man and fucking Mr. Fantastic are both looking at you like, wow, motherfuckers actually got some skill. You are reaching so far to find a problem with this shit, yet you didn't bring up a single iota about Fallout 4 now including a female protagonist as its main character being optional within the game. Wouldn't that be something that you want to go and say, hey, thumbs up for that. Oh, wait, no, nope, no, nope, can't fucking say that because you tried going and countering all the points that tons of people brought up there that it's sexist if somebody's arguing with you, basically, except for I've seen firsthand on my own fucking Twitter feed tons of women going and raising objection towards the stupid fucking slanderous shit that you sling every fucking day. You yet again, time and time and time and time and time again, ignore their very existence, yet you're speaking on behalf of them and for the betterment of gaming and for them as a gender, right? Give me a fucking break. You're, you're fucking clown shoes. You're going after Bethesda, you'll go after some other shit, and that's all fine and good. Because I think a lot of people are starting to come to the realization that you're full of fucking shit. Literally, you spew hot garbage time in and time out with no fucking foundation to be able to stand on, no grounds to be able to be on and be like, yeah, see, look, there's validity in what I'm saying, but there isn't. There is nothing. You have nothing. You cannot ever in your entire life, the both of you, be able to go and reach out and speak to people and make real changes in the real world. Instead, you go after pop culture because it's way easier. It's a trending topic, right? You wouldn't want to go and try to save people that are literally in danger everywhere around the entire world. I assure you, there is fucking problems aplenty within humanity right now that are going on every single fucking day. And your biggest problem is the representation of something that you feel is not appropriate. And it shouldn't be that way. You don't like the look of it. You don't like the sound of it. You don't like this and you don't like that. But you've always had the option to not purchase it, to not look at it, to not play it, and to not fucking hear it. Yet you want to go and tell everybody else in the industry what the fuck they should be doing. You want to go and get angry mobs after everybody. And what I'd rather do is get an entire fucking sensible mob to go and call you out on your bullshit. I'm going to be buying the games from Bethesda. Millions of people around the entire world are going to be buying the games from Bethesda. Nobody wants to realize that this is, these are fictional characters in a fictional world, and that's all. Ignore the real problems, ignore the real people, right? Don't actually make a real difference. Don't make a real impact. Go after pop culture. It's a trending topic on the internet. Use those hashtags, right? Yuck, 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 yuck.
You're a fucking joke. I've seen through your transparent asses for a long ass fucking time. That's why I continue to go and call you out on your fucking bullshit, because you allowed me to go and have the ammunition to go and fire all this stuff off. Right off the top of my fucking head mean, oh wait, look at that, using my fucking brain for something, unlike you guys. Well, then again, you're basically fucking millionaires, and I'm living paycheck to paycheck, so what the fuck do I know, right? <laughs> anyway, so, anybody can say whatever the fuck they want in the comment section. Don't give a fuck, don't give a damn. I'm gonna be going off to play in some fucking games after this, and I'll go and conclude this video. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.